Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Quick thank you to all the new subscribers, really appreciate it. Can't believe how many views and likes I'm having. Quite impressed. I know it's only a very small channel at the minute, but hopefully it will grow. So thanks for that. Update on this 8 foot tank. Installed a 4 foot FX6 spray bar. It does come with three pieces, but I have took one off to see if the flow increases, but it doesn't. Obviously, because it's got holes on it, you expect the pressure to be more, but it's not much different. So I'll probably put the other piece back on, which goes up to the brace in the middle of the tank. So yeah, everything's doing well. Did the water change the other day. Sorry about the reflection. <laughs> so yeah, everyone's doing all right. Little Arowana's putting some size on. Shows the mono. I say I have got I have got a project coming up for these because I know it's a fair old tank this is, but I like to give fish as much room as possible. So it could be let you into a little update. Could be a pool pond coming. On the other hand, I ordered a fish last week which is well, well I know it has a common pike they are cold water from the UK it was sold to be 12 to 14 inches it's definitely 20 inches but I am used to catching these and I know exactly what they're capable of biggest record of mine is 18 pound yeah uh, and a pike I have wanted one for a while to be fair but in all honesty she's doing absolutely brilliant in here there's no animosity between them all. The only one who gives everyone grief is the Oscar. There's a big old girl down there. So yeah, I own a pike. I'm going to keep her in here and possibly put her in the pool pond at some point. Like so, see how she gets on. On the other hand, we do have another two fish to show you. So I'd like to give a shout out to Chris at Top Stingrays UK. For two proper Amartus Pyara, the vampire tetra from River Monsters. Absolutely mint fish. They've definitely settled in because I've never seen them move so much over the last few days. They're in a 300 litre tank. They will be going in the 450 at some point. So I might be reoming the two ornates and the platinum bircher. Yeah, two vampire tetras. Get teeth on them. They're not the red tail ones, these are proper Armatus Payara. So yeah, they're the new fish. Definitely wanting food. On the other hand, I have been building a turtle tank. So this is a five foot by twenty four tall by eighteen wide. I believe they are yellow belly slider turtles. I don't know where they are, they are, there's one at the back. Sorry about the reflection guys. There's one there, just dived under. Oh wait, they are the underneath now. There you go. If anyone can actually tell me what they think they are in the comments, please drop a comment down and let me know. But yeah, they're a good size. They're a good, with the necks out, I'd say a good seven and a half inches long by a good three and a half, four inches wide. There is two of them. Ah, oh, there's the other one. So yeah, I've got to sort the corner out in here yet. I use the aquatic expandable foam to build the the log up. It is a floating piece of wood. I think I believe it's the bark what falls off the trees, which they use for reptiles and that. So that's what that is. I'm probably going to build up in here with some aquatic silicon and use a few rocks, cobbles and stuff like that and a few real plants build this corner out into a natural scape 
So yeah, that's the turtle tank. I believe they get to a good 13 inches, so they'll end up in the pool pond at some point. So yeah, little update for you all. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.